Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use Figma when you don't have an internet connection, that's right, how to work offline in Figma, even with the most recent updates. Whether you're traveling, dealing with spotty Wi-Fi, or just need a distraction-free environment, you'll know exactly how to keep designing without missing a beat by the end of this video. Let's jump straight in. The first thing you'll want to do is open up the Figma desktop application. This step is crucial. Figma's offline capabilities only work with the desktop app, not in your web browser. So if you're used to the browser version, make sure you've got the desktop app installed and updated. It runs on both Mac and Windows, and it looks and feels almost identical to the web version, so no worries there. Next, before you go offline, open up the files you anticipate needing. This is kind of like packing your bag before heading on a trip. You want to make sure you've got everything with you. So if there's a specific project or a couple of design files you know you'll need to work on, open those up while you still have internet access. Take your time on this step, because after you're offline, you won't be able to open any new files that you didn't prepare ahead of time. Now once you're offline, the files you had opened will remain accessible, and you can continue working on them as usual. This is super handy if you're, say, on a flight, at a coffee shop without Wi-Fi, or just want to disconnect for a bit. Every edit you make will be saved locally to your computer, so feel free to make changes, rearrange elements, or brainstorm that UI overhaul you've been thinking about. If you notice a little offline icon at the top, that's just Figma letting you know it's saving your work locally for now totally normal. When you're back online, Figma takes care of the rest. As soon as it detects an internet connection, it'll automatically sync all of your local changes up to the cloud. You don't have to remember to hit any special buttons or manually upload, it's seamless. That said, give it a moment to finish syncing if you've made a bunch of changes. A good indicator is when that offline icon disappears, meaning your files are safely backed up online. But let's be honest. Working offline in Figma does come with some limitations, so let's talk about those. First, during offline mode, you're locked out from creating new files or opening up any files you didn't already have opened before going offline. It's a bit like being in a room with just the stuff you brought along, you can use whatever you packed, but you can't go get anything new. Also, you won't have access to design libraries during offline work. So if your designs pull heavily from shared components or brand assets stored in libraries, those won't be available until you're back online. Similarly, plugins that rely on internet access or external APIs won't work. You can still use simple plugins that are fully offline, but most of the handy ones do need that connection. Lastly, while you're offline, you lose the ability to view a file's history or set version checkpoints. So if you're someone who likes to save frequent versions as part of your workflow, just keep that in mind. And that's all there is to it. With these steps, you'll be able to take Figma with you even when the internet can't come along. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tips for working offline in Figma. And don't forget to subscribe for more up-to-date design tutorials and workflow guides. Thanks for watching and happy designing.